I'm sorry, I just realized that my mic wasn't on. I apologize for that. I'll try this again. Howdy, folks. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1. <laughs> I promise I'm not as dumb as I just made it seem like. <laughs> we to start Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we, uh, as we were approaching the town of Savannah on the train, apparently Clementine's walkie-talkie was actually working, and someone knows that we're coming, and Lee is coming as well. That can't be good. So, let's get started. Let's find out if we can learn who knows who we are and how they know we're coming. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Yeah, that's little... now, what the fuck's the problem? Yeah, that happened too. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit. She's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. As far as the decisions I've made up to this point, Give me the, gun. the whole thing with Carly and, and Lily, that we need to help I really, that's the only decision I regret so far. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. That's why. What? It's all my fault. Lily was right the whole we time. Gotta jump. What? No way! Bonk. Shit! <laughs> Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. And the Captain Obvious head goes to Kenny for this. Yeah, Lily had heavy suspicions that it was uh, uh, Ben the whole time that that was uh, stealing the supplies. Uh, I doubted it. That's why. I, that's why I was against Lily. But why was I wrong? The story is tailored by how you play, and that's the only decision I, I regret because now I've lost both Lily and Carly. Just in case you were curious as what we're playing, there's the title card. <laughs> what a bustling metropolis. People everywhere. Whew. The crowds, man. Episode four, around every corner. Ooh. If you learn how to land on a train a little bit better instead of bouncing off like a rubber ball. Can't I just hold it? I guess we didn't tell her anything. Um, Just for a little while. How about we need Keep to tell her? Get real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry. Hey, I'll Mick. Leave. Thanks for stopping by. Glad to see you again. Welcome I'm back. Fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Um. All right, Kenny. How much further? Kenny. How much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Shut up, Ben. What really not happy with you. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. First, who's the one ringing the bell? Moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. Yeah, I'm what sure. Kind of church bell goes off at twenty past the hour. 
Someone's up there. Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. I'm pretty sure the zombies don't care about making the noise on the. Uh -oh. Oh, I thought shit. you said that thing didn't work. I thought it did too. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. There's gonna be a horde coming. What the I I just realized that uh he that uh, the was Chuck that? has a shovel. Is he trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? <laughs> it tolls for thee. Well, not really a fast-moving horde, but it is a horde. Molotovs! Pipe bombs! Assault rifles! Oh wait, this isn't Left for Dead. My bad. <laughs> uh, oh fuck, oh shit! <laughs> Those are my two options. Oh fuck or oh shit. <laughs> Why don't you pick her up and carry her? You probably run... Okay. Don't then. You probably run faster than she can, so just... Ow! Kitty! Alright, I'm just aiming here. Blam! Headshot! Little too close. Don't you think? How about you thank me later? Get the gun, let's go. How the hell did you two end up over there? What the fuck? Ben's gonna fucking run like a pussy, isn't he? He's gonna run like a pussy bitch. Yeah, damn it, I called it. Oh man, the aiming is so slow. Oh god, I'm aiming for the heads. Oh god. Oh god, okay. Ah, eh, eh. No! Oh, Chuck to the rescue. At least somebody's got balls in this group. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh, shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. We gotta give it, make me a choice here. There's no time. We gotta go now. How be I? Just go. Okay, we're all going. Okay, I thought they were gonna, make, they were gonna have you make a decision already. If I was going to have to choose between Chuck and Kenny, I'll go, help, I'll go help Chuck. I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's going to get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. All right. You know they can smell blood. Clearly, I'm going to have to do this. I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Of course. That's going to be. It's going to be obvious. I was going to have to do that regardless. So, pussy okay. face. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Yeah, you tell him, Lee. I hear you. Fuck yeah. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place. And Ben, I'd shoot him. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm already I'm already pissed with him because he was the I don't know if you saw the last episode or if you what went back and watched the video or the one the one before it rather, I think. Um there was some items being stolen from the from the camp back at the hotel. He was the one responsible for it. And because I wasn't sure, Lily was blaming him. And Lily was apparently right. I didn't know it. Uh, I wasn't entirely sure. I didn't want him, I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to kill an innocent person. Uh, unfortunately, I ended up that happening anyway because Lily shot Carly because 
I convinced Lily that it wasn't Ben, and the other only other person that Lily blamed was Carly, so she shot Carly, and then Lily ran off with the RV, so I lost both of them. So I'm really pissed about that in general. So, anyway. How do you think Kenny's holding out? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. I don't think anyone would at, the mo at this moment. I'm gonna go check things it's out. still kind of a fresh wound, right. no pun intended. Jesus, I got the fan on. It's still hot in here. What the fuck? You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. Still having calm yeah, conversations considering we can hear the walkers outside. But or around us. Did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Problem is, if we figure out how to get in, won't the zombies be able to figure that out too? I mean, to a point. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. I kind of agree. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Okay. Let's see if I can not take an extraordinary stupid amount of time trying to figure out how to solve the puzzles of this game again. Like I did in the last episode. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. <laughs> and what's the doghouse? Anything inside? There's a grave there too. Great. Just a doghouse. Nothing inside? Okay. Looks like something was buried here. Well, I saw a shovel back here. Can we dig something up? Maybe it's got a key in it or something. Which reminds me, how's Chuck? Here we go. Yep, I knew it. I don't think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house. First. Okay, that's going to be our that's going to be our alternative. But okay, until then. We did have a brief, uh, yeah, shovel or the wrench. Oh, wait, hey, dog, doggy door. Come in, Tiger, crawl inside. Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? Well. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled dog wears a collar with a chip in it so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it okay i haven't heard of that shit every day's a school day all right so where's the dog okay well i hadn't heard of that but i have had a i did have a doggy door one time for a puppy that i had once and we would put like a uh a, a, a panel of wood Next, uh, against the against the actual flap of the door itself, preventing that passage in and out in case it's like a rainy day or something, the rain doesn't blow into the door, and you know the dogs aren't going to go outside in the rainstorm. He was too scared, and you know it would keep uh, uh, so I mean it would keep people you know small people from being able to get in the door. Granted, you know they'd be really small to get in, or you know keep varmints <laughs> yeah, out out. So, I mean, there was a little bit a legitimate reason as to, you know, why it could be, you know, quote-unquote locked. I never heard of the, a, a collar that could trigger it, though. Okay, so do we need to find a doggy door lock? Is that, is the do is that the dog that's buried over here? That's an awfully small grave for a person. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, the evidence is kind of surrounding us. Has been for like three months now. Easy one, this one. Yeah, it looks like so far. I had trouble on the last one. Stay back, Nothing. Clementine. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want you to just do what shoo, I say, okay? Shoo, girl. Don't need to see. Don't need to see. You'd feel more hurt if you saw this, girl. Oh, God, the smell... There's the collar. 
Sorry, pup. I can't get it off. I hope it's not a zombie dog. Okay, that is not that, cool. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. Thank you for the like. Thank you very much. And the share. Thank you very, very much. Your support is greatly appreciated. I'm at 137 followers. My next goal is 150. So I really appreciate all the help you can provide. Thank you all so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. I'll grab the show. I can't. I can't. I don't think that I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. Well, how about using it against the uh, against the zombies? That'd probably be pretty useful. I mean, Chuck was doing a pretty good job of it earlier. Nothing. Sounds like it yes! works. God damn. Clem. Time to wedge your small ass in there. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. They're coming over the fence, aren't they? Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <laughs> No good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Clementine just crawls right in. <laughs> Clem, what do you see in there? Clem, please answer. Okay, good girl. Ta-da! <laughs> she did it. I she didn't say ta-da. She actually did. <laughs> uh. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. I apologize for not uh, calling your name, but I can't pronounce that very well, so I'll just call you Swan. So, hi, Swan. Thank you so much for stopping by. I don't want to accidentally butcher your name and offend you, so I'll just go with with the word that I can, that I can pronounce. <laughs> Pretty big house. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So are they a couple or not? Because she looked kind of like, uh, don't call me babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with I only found out recently. I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street. And we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case okay, you haven't noticed, she has a point there. There's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We do need to find Chuck. We don't want him to die. Make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves. But I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out. Dude, your boner for these boats is really starting to get on my nerves. Jesus Christ. It's almost as bad as... Uh, Monsters Inc. Uh, uh, secure, World and Kingdom Hearts 3 b bitching about we need to Boo's door. My God, get off the boat. Right, we know what we're doing. Stop mentioning it. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Krista and Omi need anything, okay? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's do some exploring. Try to do this quickly, so... No stuff, of course. Oh, my dang. Okay, so if they boarded up the house and stayed inside, they had to have eaten everything in the house, and then if they're still... If, they, if they're not alive, they gotta... We're gonna find their dead bodies inside the house. Oh, some doggy food. This'll be tasty. Purina. Always good for the soul. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. <laughs> okay, that means we're coming back to that later. <laughs> Anything in the microwave? No power. And the fridge is empty too. <sighs> Sorry, Walter. <laughs> Cleaned out. Uh, okay, can't go this way. I go the long way. I guess. Go go around the island. There we go. Uh, you know, I didn't check this room over here. Don't you say it's a clock? Must have stopped working a okay. while ago. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's a clock. Wow! Thanks again for that. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. <laughs> and some notes on the table. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. I was really trying to focus on the letters on the table. How's it coming? Assume that was Krista that was talking to me. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. Um, how's your leg? How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. It's always the right leg too, apparently. <laughs> Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Yes, yeah, apparently I'm the only one competent enough to do such a task. All right, we need to check the first floor. It's in here. Open the door. Jesus! Startled by a mop. What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. So there was nothing in there. That's that. That you told me that was a, that entire thing is a closet. I have never seen a closet with, with two giant doors like that. That is a big goddamn closet. Then. Okay, I checked the kitchen. I just checked the living room. I just checked over here. So that's got to be all downstairs now, right? Kenny and Ben have the second floor covered. I should finish checking down here. Obviously, I'm not done. Was it a zombie mop? Uh, <laughs> well, it didn't seem to jump out and get me. It didn't try to bite my leg or bite my bite my neck. It wasn't going brains, so I'm gonna guess not. Then I guess what would a zombie mop want if not if not brains? I guess it would go dirt. I don't know. Pictures of the family that lived here. Not exactly my style. I'm not really sure what I just looked at. Anything in this door? Boo! I scare any any, brute, any uh, zombie mops in here? No. Okay. Just one more to check. Got any zombie mops in here? Boo! That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. 
Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No. Yeah, just dog food. And, there's and a mop. In the back. A zombie mop. Well, the whiskey. I was asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. She knows him? What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Girl, you got no clue. Honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. Shut up, girl woman. Uh-oh. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What the hell's wrong with Kenny? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Yeah, because we know Pussy Man's gonna, not going to do it. Jump scare anybody? A little too obvious for a jump scare. Nice ass shot of Lee. Thanks for that. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Is, he, is it all, all coming? Is all Jesus. having a moment? What the hell is that? Oh, like I said, we found the, uh, I think we found the residents, at least a resident. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Well, then, I'll tell I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll tell Especially if he looks too much like ducking his to him. Before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Killed one kid, why not two? Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I had found her when I did. Yeah, sure could have. Um, let's save the ammo. I don't know if we really actually have to worry about ammo, but uh... close your eyes, turn around, go away, Kenny. Don't need to look at this. should bury him I'll take care of it next to his dog please don't show that to Clementine You best to make sure she doesn't see that kid. But she's gonna think the same thing too. That's gonna to look remind her of Duck. Oh, I gotta walk him over here. Okay. A little bit of Final Fantasy VII flashbacks here when Cloud was carrying Eris. <laughs> K. 
Conveniently, the grave is big enough for both of them. Why would I want to look at him? Okay, I don't know. Maybe we need to. If we took another look, we would see we saw something on him. I don't know why that prompt was there. Maybe we might have. If we put him down, maybe we saw like a, a ring or something on him that we needed or whatever. That's why I decided to take another look. Oh my god, really? Well, I guess they got to pad the runtime somehow, don't they? Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to take a bit. Nothing over here, Clem. Nothing to see here. Go back inside. really going to make me cover this whole thing. Okay. At least we're making progress after three scoops. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Hey, You're not a walker. Hey. Lee, what's oh going shit. On? I, I, I realize there's a dialogue there. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? Look like a man to me. If it's the same guy who's been following us, the guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just, I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on oh, track. God. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. Mm. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Because there's support. If you wanna, I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna. Dude, do. if there's supplies here, we can take to the boat. Shouldn't we take I them? I said I'm done with this house. But you can stay outside while we go search. Jesus, Kenny. Ever since he killed Larry, he's pissed me off. We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Mm, stay here and help her, or help uh, Ben. It would be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. What gear could he possibly have? So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Why the hell not? I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I should have gone with Clementine. Stay oh well. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. 
good. Yeah. How, somehow I doubt that. Talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's we... right up ahead. Okay, fine, now. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Why don't you keep it down a bit so maybe the bell doesn't get drowned out by your yelling? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Or why? Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> right. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Uh oh. Why? Oh what? God. What are we staring at? No boats. There's got to be a boat. There's got to be. <sighs> Time for Plan B. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a Plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Wow. Okay, then. You're gonna use this? This one might still be salvageable. Right. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. <laughs> I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Right, let's take a peek through the telescope, see if it's, that'll see anything. Is there going to be a boat way out there moored in the water? Right. Needs a quarter to work. Um, there's, a, there's guys behind us that are... <laughs> uh, should I go check out the dead guys that are still <laughs> on, the, on the spikes? Or uh, what will this do? Damn. Built solid. <laughs> what was... What was the point of doing that? I wasn't going to make the... Don't think I'm going to see anything until I find a quarter. <laughs> and conveniently, one of these zombies back here going to have a quarter on them, I bet, right? What the fuck? What a 
is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Hey, anybody up here got a quarter? I need a quarter. Anybody? 25 cents? Got a quarter on you? I don't know if I want to use my gun to shoot any of them. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, um... Okay. These markings over here. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Okay. It's, the it's not the same thing. This is DOF 6808. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Oh, hey, cash register. We got a quarter in here. Hello, beautiful. Empty. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. <laughs> I gotta walk outside and look at the newsstand because looking at it from the inside is not possible. Someone already looted the place. How do you loot a how do you loot a newsstand? Do you take all the newspapers away? There's another one of those uh couple of those uh logos out there again. Anything in the car? Air siphon, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Okay, what we got here? Trolley. Must have been a hell of a wreck. I uh, can't go any farther this way. Hey, Kenny, why don't you come take a look at this zombie barrier gets over here? Wait, hang on, go look at the truck first. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Things didn't go as planned. Yeah, that's obvious. Uh, hey, Kenny. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. I guess I'm not going to tell him about the zombie do about the zombie barricade. So we're going to look at the boards on these windows. Great. I'm going to be stuck again, roaming this place for half an hour, trying to find what I need. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Okay, so we're not going back that way any further. I don't really see a whole lot of other options yet. The only other option that I haven't done is use the gun on the zombies. I don't know if that's really a bright idea. I don't see anything to interact with over here. So the only thing that left that I see is using the gun on these guys. So, I guess... Well, then why give me the option if I can't fucking do it? God damn it. Here we go again. Can I go into the alleyway over here? Okay, here's a new area. I don't see anything I can select or click on. There's literally nothing here. There's no, no, there's nothing. God damn it. Already looked at the truck. I guess I can try this. This is new. Bonk. There we go. Cha-ching.
Now we come over here, put the quarter in the machine, and we'll see a boat on the dock, a boat out in the water, and we're going to use that, right? Because it'll be just that easy. Fuck! Oh shit! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line. Plus, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it. By the way, there's the uh, zombie the wall. What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. There's a building there. Docks. Plenty of docks. No boats. There's a boat way out there. Let's see why. One, let's see why the building was the first one we saw here. No sign of any boats down there. Okay. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Oh, already. Look at that. Okay. All right. Now let's check the boat. What the hell? What the hell? I tried to go back to the boat. It went. Up there. Get down. Get down. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, otherwise I would have gone to the boat first. That looks like a female. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Don't shoot him, Kenny. That's absolutely a female. Look at the way they're standing. The hell? What the? How the hell did you do that? Ah. <sighs> ah, damn it. It doesn't give me reaction time. It doesn't give me enough time to do that. Clem, how'd you get here? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, don't! Oh, great. No, he's with us! That gunshot just pissed off all the zombies, didn't it? you people or not everyone just calm down I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is back off asshole the name's molly molly i'm lee this is kenny and clementine We're not looking for any trouble hi <laughs> you guys really aren't a friendly girl Crawford, are you Crawford, i assume is the town that is. Everything beyond that barricade. Oh, okay. What the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. 
Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Hmm. Okay. Lucky us. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. Oh, good. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Really? They turned. They let them turn to zombies. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Again, isn't it great how people get together for a single cause? Work together to help those in need? Uh, who's been ringing the bells? I really want to ask what Clem's doing here. Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're looking for a boat. Uh, yeah. Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. What a shock. Got left behind, Crawford stripped him for parts. Cars, too. That much we noticed, too. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it. Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? I was going to say, you want to yell a little bit more so you can summon the more the next horde of zombies toward us like Shit. the bells? Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Too late. Right. Just right. They're kind of sort of ignoring us. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Oh, damn it. I didn't get a chance to hey, you can't just leave us here. That happened too quick. I didn't get a chance really? to choose what I was... Watch. <laughs> no, please. Please don't leave us. Oh, Clem, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. <on>. Make it fast. <laughs> I didn't have time to really read the uh, all the options before it disappeared. I, I, oh crap! Really? No, Take your time walking backwards. Climb up on the on the trash can, on the, on the dumpster. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Oh great! I'm gonna go into the sewers. By myself. Can't get it open. 
Oh, well, uh, Kyle Watch, thank you for the follow. Very, thank you very much. Got that. Come on, come on, come on. Get, 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 get it. Oh, shit. I got to do it quickly. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Wee. Oh, good. I'm all by myself in this situation. This is going to be great. Okay, they're trying to come after me. They're just gonna fall down here and. Okay. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh boy, this ought to be a ton of fun. Shit. No point looking at the ladder. Nothing else around here. Okay, what's the grate? Build solid. I Another grate? No way I can pry that open. Looks like I'm going down here. Oh boy. Oh, I thought I was going to slip and fall. Probably going to slip, aren't I? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, called it. Ow! My ass! Oh, what's this? Dead rat? Okay. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Like uh, zombification, maybe? Open a passageway? I can open this? I uh, guess not. There's a path over to the left. There's also something here. Looks like I'm going to be solving a puzzle here. Gonna be put, I'm going to need a wheel of some kind to put here. Side side passage here. Well, here's a uh, here's a wheel. Oh, on the other side of this uh, this grate. Okay. All right. What does this do? I wonder. Turn it left. Won't turn anymore. All right, let's go right then. Looks like I turned some water on. Good thing I'm out here and not out there. Seems loose. Uh oh. I'll take it off then, because I'm going to need it for that other one. I'm going to bet. What do I do with this guy? <laughs> uh, I guess i got to go back and go the other... I can't go this way, because I bet if I try to walk up there, the zombie's going to instantly kill me. So i got to go this way through the grate over here. Lost my, uh, okay, there we go. Can't pull on it. Oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, well, let's try this. All right. And we're out. Nice. Now I put the wheel over here and do the same thing. And we want to turn it which way, I wonder. Should we start with left or right? Let's start with left first. Assuming the pipe's closed again. 
Okay. Alright, so it is to the right. Just want to make sure. Okay, so I need to get away from here. Bye-bye. Mm, Back into the hole. And then while they're going to play with the water... Why is that turning red over there? them to go on by and then sneak out and hang left. Nice. And we got one zombie left to deal with. That one's got a, ri a revolver. Oh, that was, oh shit. I didn't realize that was Chuck. It means he had a gun the entire time. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, let's put her out of her misery. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I hey. Oh, I, don't, I didn't want to shoot him. That was a bad idea. Fuck. That was a bad idea. Shooting was a bad idea. Oh, damn. I just wanted to get off the... Oh, shit. I did not want to do that. Uh. Look out. Look out. Look out. Oh, damn. Do this quickly. Do this quickly. Hey, 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 hey. X. Uh, in front of you. In front of you. In front of you. In front of you. Oh, where's the button? Where's the button? Damn. Okay. Yeah. Let's try it again and not use the gun. Okay, this time, whack. A, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and Y. All right, we're free. And then this one is B. Silent kills, perfect. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Broken ladder, okay. I got steps here. This ladder's not really going to do me a whole lot of good, is it? No way I can pick that up on my own. It can't be that heavy a ladder. But okay. Can I pull that open, I wonder? Probably not with this. Those bars are way too solid. All right, well, let's use our pick. Thanks, Molly. I'm not going to be able to pry these bars with this. All right. What's over here? Just a sign. There's a door here. Locked. Fucking perfect. Of course it is. And the only other option I see, though, this isn't going to help. Okay, maybe it will. Ah. <laughs> We're trying to do it. What the hell? Oh. We were trying to do what Molly did, but we didn't do so such a good job at it. It was hiding a giant hole in the wall. So I guess trying to use the uh, pick on the door would be a bad idea. So let's go through the hole. Probably using the pick would probably alert them. Later, Chuck. Thanks for the gun, man. <laughs> I guess. Fallout shelter. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. I didn't realize we were playing Fallout. It looks like there's lots of supplies down here. It's enough to keep people alive for months. So who's down here living off of it? Somebody's gonna be down here. Wonder if someone's living down here. I just said that. I guess we're about to find out. Holy hell. Hi. Please don't shoot me. Who are you? Uh, 
I don't want any trouble. I <laughs> slowly put my hands up. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm we're not from around here. here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? Uh, yeah, pretty bad. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. You didn't ask me. yet. I'm a history professor. I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. Calmly take gun. Is this I gonna... told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. Really? I decide not to try to take the gun from him and I get shot anyway. Okay. I had this whole scene again. <laughs> Who are you? It's all right. I use. Uh, I use. Okay. I'm gonna use different responses uh, this time for one of these. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere uh, else around here is dead. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm not from Crawford. I can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like I'm trying to reason with them, okay? I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. All right, this time I'll grab the gun. It's all right. Probably take the gun. It's okay. Vernon, it's a, what the hell? Good thing I was within range to do that. <laughs> Vernon. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I've got three guns on me now. <laughs> You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old. So, you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the oh. hospital. We're wow. in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Sure. Yeah, That's uh irony's always high. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? Looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? <laughs> bad <laughs> a few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street came down here trying to get away now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people well that sewer system you came through runs all over the city it'll take you wherever you want to go uh, can you show me a way back Those sewers are like a damn maze any chance you could help me find my way back look I'd like to help you but we've all got our own problems Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. 
Besides, why should we help you? Bitch. Mm -hmm. Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No, no, but... She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Let's go. You hear that phrase a lot. Don't get much out of this guy. So we're going to go back in the sewers the way we came. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> luckily we'd have to travel through the sewers. Clementine? You just took us straight back here. Clem? Yeah, good luck, Molly. Molly. Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Uh, I'm not worried about him, I'm worried Where's about Clementine. Clementine. She's around here somewhere. Relax, I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Wasn't avoiding the question, I was worried about Clementine. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Doc! We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? Convenient. You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Lucky we ended up in a hospital. Lucky he was a doctor. Lucky he's the one that went with us. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. Don't look at his face. Look at his leg. Without an audience, I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine. Okay. Well, where would she be? Let's check these back rooms back here. Clementine, you here? Bathroom door, bedroom. Let's check the bedroom first. Hello. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? She's literally Not searching enough. for everything. Just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay. We have a good chance to explore the upper level. I just want to find Clementine. Okay then, no problem. We're going to go do just that then. How do I end, end up at the bathroom? I'll try to get back out to the hallway. <laughs> Alright then. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Calm down. It said he was in here. she was in here. Kenny? Is that a drink up after all, huh? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. 
Good job. He's out. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <laughs> you want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Really gonna do this Wasted's again? It's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Really? Good call. So, she's not down here. Clementine, where are you? Is she hiding in here? Doesn't look like she's in here. What if we need to check the zombie mop closet? Doesn't look like she's in here. Zombie mop closet? Doesn't look like she's in here. <laughs> okay. Run out of rooms left downstairs. Clementine! She's not in the kitchen. Not over here. Can't get past it. Can I go around the chair? I cannot. She's not in the kitchen. So she's not downstairs. Please tell me she's not outside. Clementine? Clementine! Bedside manor. Return to the manor with medical assistance. Oh, okay. okay she's not in the bush. in the doghouse? Surely not. I didn't check all of upstairs. I would I would think they may not have let me go outside if there was more to uh, do. How would she have gotten in here? What the? Okay, she was in there. in there exploring and look look what I found how did you get in there if I could if I had trouble opening the doors what are we looking at oh well congratulations Kenny you got your wish this was here the whole time I know right Congratulations, Kenny. You can now get your get your heart on satisfied. Jesus. So, Doc, how's the patient? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? 
Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's start with the bad news. That's always let's wonderful. Get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere. The shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. All right, those are. So what's the good news? Those aren't too terrible That's conditions. It. That's all she needs: some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Well, <laughs> okay. Crawford's the only Sounds option like left. Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now, hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? I'll go by myself. I've heard that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. Oh God! That's, putting it mildly. That's try negotiating. Is that's not going to work? Like civilized people, we must have something they'd be interested in. Because threatening is not going to work. Negotiate with Crawford. Once again, I have to remind you: you have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. So we're going to sneak Don't in after all. Happen to have a map by any chance? Yeah, actually. Yeah, thanks to the train. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay. That's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. <coughs> just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. All right, that's ought to be interesting. That's how I'm still alive. So now we gotta wait till midnight. Or are we just gonna like you to stay in your room? proceed? How long have you been there? Tell me, she's not gonna come along with us. Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. Hmm. Not gonna lie to her. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah. It's been telling her the truth so far at this point. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Hmm. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh, Jesus. Um... Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Damn. You really didn't let me down here, kid. Can't I come with you? Don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Oh, shit. Uh, yes, 
I guess. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. I got a feeling that was a really bad idea. time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Maybe she's got a gun. Maybe that's a good. Maybe she's. Yeah, maybe she's getting better with a gun. Maybe that's. I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea, really. But somehow I think taking her's not. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she's... I seriously doubt she's, like, going to get killed because she's one of the two main Check characters. Out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. I know the court... I know Clementine's not going to die because within it would be no season two. So I know that much, but... I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. Uh-huh. So? So we're going to have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't going to be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Oh, so you came too. This? this is Bree. She can help us. <laughs> how? Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Just as long as she's less of a bitch to us than she was when we first met her. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth... I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm really, really doubting the decisions that they were that they were doubting now that they're doubting it too. I don't know, I just, I just feel if I had said no, she can't come. I would have probably upset right Clementine even more, and I don't want to do that. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. And here we go. Oh. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Well, I thought maybe you could like peek up and then look. Let's go. Not a lot of walkers out at night. I thought that was when they were most, you know, prevalent was at night. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Is that a patrol or is that a or is that a zombie? We'll sneak up, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. What the fuck? He's a zombie, I knew it. Told you. Uh-oh. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get Walkers. <laughs> Running time. Panic time. <laughs> awesome. Now we're stuck inside the place. Do you 
think they saw us? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Oops. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Oh, shut up, man. No, this is good. What? How do you figure? What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone in Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I suppose he has a point there. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? When did you start growing some balls, Ben? I think I Jesus. know which way to head. Getting Mally all of a sudden. I got a bad feeling about this. What is this, Star Wars? We can definitely tell they're inside. We can hear them. X means don't open this door. Don't go over to the door. That's the reason for the X. Means don't go in. You Just hear them. Keep moving. Good, good call there, Molly. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. All right. And the door closed automatically. Nobody pulled it shut. Unless there was a string attached to Bree's leg. Armory? Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Is that the entire city? Here. Just give me a sec. What are we looking at? Other than a map. Uh, fuel? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. We're going we're gonna to be splitting up, aren't we? Like two people per location? Do you where we could find a battery? Probably the motor pool. Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. That's going to be inside the building then, right? Just makes sense, doesn't it? She's from Crawf Crawford. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. That leaves me. I guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. With Molly. Watch your back. Okay. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I guess we'll have to find out if we can trust Molly. We're leaving Clementine behind? What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with help, me. Start to help Ben get the... Yeah. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. 
I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. You you boss him around. Back before you know it. That's the third time it's been said. All right, is there anything I can look at here? Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Okay. Creepy. <laughs> okay. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. <laughs> All right. Any luck with the door so far? Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Fine. <laughs> no, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Uh-huh. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. You do, you're probably dead. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. I really think that's the right choice there. Because <laughs> we already know how screwed up Kenny is right now. No power, no TV. Even, uh... You know, seeing that zombie kid at the uh, at the house screwed him up again. So, looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. We're not going to try to decipher it, make sense of it. Initials of person conducting search. Number of ineligible citizens found. Days since outbreak. Number of walkers found. Citizen, number of citizens brought to Crawford. Okay, 71 OB is how many days when they did the search. Citizens brought to Crawford, as in taken hostage and taken to Crawford? Mm-hmm, okay. Or at least now, I mean, not that I'll be able to remember all that information and take it with me, but when I see those signs, at least now I'll, I'll have some basic idea behind how it works. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's just a sense of normalcy that way. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. <laughs> Things will ever be normal again, just like the way they were before. That's a damn good question. Uh, what cat said? What can you? I don't know, sweet pea, but we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we are not. We're still alive, and we have to keep hope alive too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Okay. Well, 
must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. Children under 14 not admitted without authorization. Uh, anyone asked to leave Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. Theft or looting within, within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. All right. Are we going to examine the uh, X door over here? Nope, I guess we are not. Nothing in here. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Okay, okay, Jesus. Shell casing, so what, ammo? Shell casing's all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. More X doors with probably zombies in it. Must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? We just saw her. Where'd she go? She was literally just here. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Okay, then I won't go that way. I'll go this way. Deliveries made in rear. <laughs> Authorized oh, motor shot, pool. Down this way. Okay, well, that's what we needed anyway. What the... What was that? That wasn't a zombie that moved too quick. There's a fence here. Where the hell they go? Don't you jump scare me, game. Nothing in here. Oh. I'm going to try to climb up this. Okay, here it goes. We made it. Let's go inside, I guess. Waiting for that shadow to reappear. Damn, it's jammed tight. I gotta find another way in. Okay. We're looking. No, well, there's them out there. Better not get too close. Okay, so we're not going that way. I can't go back over the fence. Hi there. Leave him. Oh. He's mine. What are you doing? What were you doing up there? I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. <laughs> okay. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. You got a, uh, a problem? Not a problem. Look what I found. A jack. All right. Yeah, that'll work. How'd you manage to hide that big ass thing? Oh, good. I guess I'm gonna do some. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this quick. That fence is falling fast. 
Where's the car? Where's the prompt? I know it's gonna be me. Here we go. Hey, here we go. Spin it quickly. Spin it quickly. Gank that thing out of there once you get in. That thing ain't dead yet, really. <laughs> Gank that jacket from out from under there. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. All right, then. Take your word for it. Hydraulic hose. Lift panel. It's a warning sign. Of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Okay, so we need to use it. We need to lower the car. It's going to be... Power. Okay, probably also going to make a lot of noise, too. So that's probably not a good idea. Any of these vehicles working on uh, oil? You know, are they getting oil changes? Oh, there's battery. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. What is this big block thing in the middle? Maybe that's the gas tank. <laughs> Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Right, what about the car? Why has the car got a flashing red light in it? That blinking must be an anti theft system. You ain't still got enough. Of a I start saying, you still got enough battery for that? If I can find a way to get up there. Okay. So we need to power the building somehow, even though it's got a light shining down in it. And I've got to lower the hydraulic lift, which is probably going to make a shit ton of noise, and bring every zombie within about 10 miles toward me. All right, good. Let's do that. Talk to her. Does she have any ideas? Something you need? Uh, let's guess about that walker. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Uh, so, Crawford. What do you think happened to Crawford? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. I'm actually with her, aren't you with her on that? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. You gave it to me a minute ago before I jumped down to the sewers. That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. How many lines from Star Wars are we going to quote here? Alright, so... Why did I take this from her? What good is it going to do me? I can't reach it up there. Still need to power this somehow. It's locked. No way in. Why am I going to use this on the hydraulic hose? Oh, okay. I get why now. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold them off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. We got tools to get the terminals off? Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Well, unscrew it then! That ought to kill the, the horn. Off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. <laughs> wow, she's sure nimble. I've carried a car battery in a backpack before. That's no heavy. Ass. Ain't gonna tell me twice. 
How do I how do I move up there? How do I get up there? Oh, there's a ladder there. Alright. Shoot it out. So say, use the gun then. <laughs> now how are you gonna get that high? Okay, how am I gonna get that high? <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Can you catch me? <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, she is strong. Not only is she carrying a, a car battery in her backpack, she pulled me up from a jump. She's good. <laughs> That woman's got some muscle to her. Oh, that's not good. Oh, where come on. Later, something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. We need Wait, that car battery. The battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Oh, Alex. she's gonna screw us over. Damn it! What the hell is she doing? All right. Well, let's go back to class and check on Clementine and everybody else. Hi. Uh, hey, <laughs> that happened fast. Didn't startle me, but it happened fast. <laughs> On you, smash, smash his head. Punch him in the face. That works. <laughs> that works too. Uh, got it. Uh, a again. Tap it a lot. And which button we press after that? Why? There we go. They got a hold. Damn well better. There's so many. Until they break the glass. If they know if they learn how. We got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's a hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. I think a battery car battery still weighs more. Just a guess. I haven't really compared the two. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah. Mother. Almost. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Come on, we want to survive the zombie apocalypse. We need a battery, because... Reasons. Oh, yeah, I know why, but still... <laughs> Need me to try to find this Molly girl, find out what uh, what she's doing. Hopscotch. Too bad Duck's not here. Bree? Hey Lee, thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. What kind of help, what kind of help did I give you? Team. Oh, I guess when we ran from, it ran into the place. Uh, fair enough. Um... What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. I, if you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. I actually can't disagree with her. You know, if, especially if they ended up kicking out anybody that I knew or, or cared for just because they happened to be sick. If they kept me for some reason, which I wouldn't, unless they forced me to and I couldn't, you know, resist or whatever. But, if, you know, if they kicked out somebody that I cared about and I couldn't go with them, oh, hell yeah, I would, I would, have, no pro I would have no sympathy if they died. Um, How long have you known Vernon? couple of years he ran our support group he was really great helping me come to terms with my disease 
But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Let's check on Clementine. Then we'll probably check on Kenny and Ben, see how they're doing with the door. That'll probably move on the plot with the plot. Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So we're waiting on Vernon so and... So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're still waiting on Vernon and uh, uh, Krista to get back with the medicine. So, maybe we should stroll outside see if we can find them. Maybe we head past another door and boom, there they are. So, I'd like to know what happened to that shadow that, maybe that shadow that ran past me earlier when we were heading toward the car, uh, the motor pool, maybe that was, uh, maybe that was just Molly. That's all I could hope for. <laughs> Oh, no, they're inside. That's not good. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh, yeah, because like that's where they were going. That's the nurse's station. What am I going to do? Shoot them? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, it really gave me some really good, really huge flexibility there, because I was shooting pointing way off to the left when I shot that last one. It gave me some huge flexibility. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. They're out of meds. Or is it locked? <laughs> Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Can't we just bust it open? There's no way we can bust it open. Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. I completely agree. You get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. And see if they conveniently left the note for us laying around, like they did so many times in uh, Last of Us. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Well, is there anything actually on it? Maybe there's some paperwork or something. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Okay. Nothing in the little folder there. Phones probably haven't worked in a month. Uh, I can't get around here. Oh, can, nope, I can't get around here. Guess I want to talk to Vernon. Wait, medical file. Looks like some kind of medical file. Let's look at it. Let's pick it up. Eighty-two OB. Eighty-two days since outbreak. If I remember the, uh, remember that right? How's it coming? Slow, too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Um. Thank you for coming with us. Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? 
And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. Well, I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with, uh, with Vernon on that. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? Lee's put a lot of faith in her. I'm not so sure myself. Antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Well, if we need to cut his leg off, Lee, Lee has experience in doing that. He does. Here's some more paperwork. A camcorder. I guess we can. Re I guess we can watch that tape. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Wow, this got I dark in a hurry. Procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. He was just about to use the cut the the pad to unlock the the cabinet. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We got to keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Is that, the, you should is that the one that Holly was beating the hell out of? Okay, so we know it wasn't that one. <laughs> Alright, what else we got around here? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. What the hell happened here? Okay. <laughs> Can we just shoot it off? Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Anything in the drawer? Like another tape? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Damn. Of course, I guess that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, already cleaned out. Okay. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're going to force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. Okay. Let me look one more time to see if maybe there's like another tape I can find. If not, then I don't see any other choice but to shoot the, uh, to shoot it open, uh, shoot that uh, lock open. At least that's the only option I see left. And so I, and I don't see any other choice. Everything else doesn't, there's no other tape to be found. Hey, Krista. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. 
Okay, I'm not going to get anywhere with this. Um, I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. I don't see any other choice right now than to try to shoot it open. Because everything else that I see, we've already examined. We have nothing to put in the camcorder. No tape inside. I don't see another tape laying around. This is the one we just sat down already. When we just looked at. Not what? Okay. Nothing on the bed. Nothing back here. I don't see another tape that we could use. I don't see any other option left but to use the gun on the door. So, here goes. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. I didn't think that would work. <sighs> Alright, so what am I missing once again? Do I need to go outside and find something? Go out of the out of the room? Right, let's try this. Okay. Anything laying out here? Anything that maybe have a, a tape in it? Pretty good close up to on Lee. I was wondering what we what were so close for. Is there somebody in there? Isn't that the name of the doctor on that tape? Too bad I don't know the combo. Can't open it without the combination. Okay. It's down here. Any of these I can open or look at? It's just the door that leads out. I don't think I can find anything out there. There's these guys again. Take me there, but there might have been. That's why I had to check. Bone dry. Any of these open? Nope, I guess not. We're not gonna, we're not gonna try to exit the playground. Sure, certainly not right now. I want all those guys there. Okay, we didn't find a tape in here. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. We've already figured that much out, so that didn't tell us anything. Fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Okay, it didn't take me anywhere. All right. Is there a tape of any kind in here that we could use on the camcorder? Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Just a bunch of paste. Okay. Pamphlets? Any, any, oh, that's that stuff. I already looked at that. They don't have anything. I already looked at all this. No tape in here, I don't think. Can't shoot the lock off. Damn. 
Damn. I don't know what I need. I okay. I do know what I need. I don't know if that's if if there's a again. I don't know what my. I don't know how to accomplish my objective. I would think I need another vid, another uh, tape. I pick these up. Already been fired. Worthless. Oh, okay. Do I need another tape to put in the camcorder? That maybe where the guy actually went in and used the the closet and put in the code, and then we can just use the code that way. So far, I'm not seeing anything at all. I really, really don't want to try to use a walkthrough for this. Come on. What's the solution? This is the part of the game that gets me. It bugs me. Because I look around at everything and Find I don't see it. Find that doctor's body? Did you search him? Not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? The doctor's body. The doctor's body. Where would he, where would he be at? There's, there, that clue would probably help. Okay, I'm looking for the doctor's body. The doctor. Where would he have been? Oh! Like I said, I think he's the one that... Uh, uh, Molly beat the shit out of. After she killed him. Or supposedly after she dropped him off the roof. And she started wailing on him with the... Uh, with the hatchet, or the not the not the hatchet, but that uh, the tool she's got. Uh, I'm not going the right way for that. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe there's something on him. Sure wish a sprint button was uh, was implemented in this game. Just make these walks just a little bit quicker. I think I need to go this way. Yeah, here we go. Cause out this door. This is what I need. Because as long as that body hasn't moved, it should be right there. I mean, it still looked like it was alive when I last was there. Got to climb over that uh, fence again. Come on. Come on, Lee. Let's go. Let's, let, let's move it. Let's go. Come on. Walk faster. Motherfucker! Well. That was a conveniently placed TV. Thanks for that. TV X Machina for the win. Woo. Hey, there's the doctor. Come back here. Don't bother being in a rush, Lee. Finish him. Lee wins. Fatality. Got anything on him? This is definitely the guy. Is he, he's going to have the tape on him that's going to have the next day of the woman's abortion? I guess so. This might be just what we need. Or at least have some kind of... This? Looks like some kind of code. 62630. That's a different code. Shit. Time to go. Okay. So the paper that I have is the combination to his safe. The tape will have the number to the... Uh, to the, the, the locker that's holding the medical supplies. Gotta be it. Finally, gaining some progress. Logan. This must have been his locker. And there we go. Safe combination has gotta be on one of these. Okay, so we got two tapes now. One of the two are bound to have what we're looking for. Finally, okay. Glad I'm, I'm glad they had that little hint there of going into the nurse, nurse's office and they say, did you find the body of that, of that doctor? That was the clue I needed. 
One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. <laughs> Great. I can't imagine this conversation's going to go well. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Well, that's how he died. No. 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 <laughs> Sorry, that body sound is just always funny to me. <laughs> I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Tell me you didn't know the doctor. What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Oh. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those. Someone tells me she knew that. Well, no, they were in different towns. They were in different areas. Not even. They weren't even from here. They were from California. I thought maybe she might have known the doctor. They should wonder maybe she was uh, pregnant and she had a miscarriage. Okay, at some point. We're good. That's why it this is more hurt than so much. For your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. All right. Well, I want to look at the tape because I want to know what's on it. Maybe something we meet, we need in the future. It was like what seventy something. So it was like ten days earlier. The Listen, Molly. As fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Sure, like how this tape started to staring at his dick as he zipped his pants back up. Well, shit. So he turned the tape on after having sex. What, so he didn't want his own porn tape? So he's not creepy enough to record it, just creepy enough to record the the conversation afterwards. It still doesn't make sense. Puts a little bit more uh, character development behind Molly, though. So that's kind of that's kind of good. It's not really good character development. I mean, as far as not you know like morally good, but the fact that it's there is nice. Hey, look who's back! Jesus Christ. Shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Get you some more doc dick? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that. boy. This episode ain't over yet, is it? I'm just kidding. I thought we were going to go get right. the battery again. Where the. What's that? Nothing. It's a picture of her sister. Mm, boink. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. 
You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. Mm. By Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. That was really going to thin your crowd out, though, because not everyone, not everyone's going to be healthy. As long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. Eventually, everyone's going to be kicked out by those rules because everybody's going to come down with something. We always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them. But I Nobody saw is the what perfect being. Become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Mother. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. Let's, um, let's mosey. What the hell happened to all the zombies? Tell me I didn't find another way in. By the way, where did, uh... Oh, Jesus! Chip! Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine Where, did, where did uh, Lee put no, that battery? With her. Did he just like he slip, stick it in his back pocket? Seriously, look for something we where do the people put some of this stuff? <laughs> found this. Uh, that. Ben? Where did you get you that? You fucking moron, it. It Ben! stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh. <sighs> Shit! <laughs> Damn. She good. I gotta kill. Shoot this fucker! Shit. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Missed the first time, but it followed up. It wasn't me. Going, kid. Nice oh, Clem! Good girl. Let's go. I wasn't expecting the sudden lurch of the zombie to go left, on. otherwise I wouldn't They're have missed. Coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. Oh, boy. I'm Here so we go. sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben. Shut the fuck up! Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along. Oh the Jesus! Putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck. It was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It oh, now he wants to stop. Made a deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. Ben, you fucking idiot! Shit. Attacked. And that's when Duck. I really, 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 really hate the fact that I screwed that up now. Because I really want, I really don't want him here now. Kick his ass later. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife the child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind. You uh, hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking. That'll be the rot. second time we're gonna vote now. I know you're upset. I understand, but you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. I will vote sure, against Ben this take time. A vote. This is America. Fuck it. But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. 
I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Yes, yeah, so let's see what she says. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Friends also don't sacrifice their... I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Friends don't sacrifice other friends for their, for their own safety. We cut him loose. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. Hate to go against Clementine here. Means cutting you loose. Friends don't what sacrifice the rest of the team just to save their own asses. Well, she's dead. There's one other person left behind. God damn. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. I don't think you can close it. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh. Hi, guys. What's up? Oh. Close the door. <laughs> That's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Escape to the roof. Oh, shotgun. Nice. Wait. Does it have ammo? Does it work? Is it loaded? Does... I guess we'll have to find out. Use less stick to get away. Okay, doing that. Sure hate the fact that it's not inverted. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, ah. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, 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 out. Ah! Damn it. Nice first person perspective on that one. Select your leg to free it. Look up to fight off walkers. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Down. Right, work on the leg, work on the leg, work on the leg, work on the leg. Another one. Look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. God damn it. Okay, I only have time for one. I only have time for one look before I have to start shooting. So it's like pull, shoot, pull, shoot, pull, shoot. Over the pull. And then shoot. And then pull. And then shoot. Pull. Third time. Not out yet. Okay, I got time. Another pull. Alright, I'm out. Oh, great, they're in front of me. Alright, so who's the sharpshooter this time? Okay, sir. I want to axe him now? Alright, fine. And a whack! Gotcha! And a two! Honk. <laughs> so, possible overboard. And there we go. Number three. I just kicked. Nice. Gotcha. And gotcha. Bye bye. Ah, I'm keeping the gun, thanks. Come on. Let's go. Good thing I brought Kim. Right. Good thing I did bring her along. Come along. Otherwise, she wouldn't. Have, otherwise, I might have lost Molly. This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town. Munched, for the yeah. Did you? I got munched a few yeah. times. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Good thing they're all slow zombies, no fast ones. Yeah, come on, let's go! So who's pulling it? What the fuck? Uh, 
Oh, fine. If I have to. Hold on, ben. I've got you. Uh, I should let him go. Ben, climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. Bye. Ooh. Nice squishy there. Squishy down there. Yep. I did that on purpose. I don't regret that decision. I don't regret that decision one bit. Because of him, Carly. Lily, even though she's in, even though she's not dead. Krista, everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -mm. Uh. He's not a zombie. Hey. Back already? He was just asleep. We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. My smart my smart speaker just went off just started talking to me. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. He what at the bottom of the uh, dumb son of a bitch tower. nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me, she'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. We can't bring the rest of the folks from her from their hospital. We don't have enough room. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean. I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know More advice on how to take care of her? But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden. And a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? No. Well, yes, I want her to be safe, but not with... Need to think it over. Of not course, with somebody else. take your time. But I want you to think about some things. We're still, we're still missing the mystery of who the hell... Contacted us about uh, let that Clementine's parents. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be.
the way I take care of a kid, the way I take the way, the way I take care of adults are two vastly different things. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. She's not coming with us on the boat, after all? It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're you just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. She's a good fighter. I don't want her to go either. Damn it. I don't know if I could have, I don't know if there's any way I could have stopped that from happening. I like the whole Lily and Carly thing. Hey, sweet pea. And he's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. There's a good answer. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clam, honey. What's wrong? What or why I cut that off? I didn't press any buttons. What can he mean when he said you did what you had to? Uh. Hmm. Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well... Well, it's the first time and he did that so far. Before well, we leave tomorrow, at this point. Will we have time to look for my parents? Oh, damn it. I don't want to lie to her. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? Must have, must have fell asleep. Where's Clementine? the, uh, where's the radio? Did I look for the radio? I got a really Clementine? bad feeling. Clementine! Oh, God. Oh, hell. Here we go again. Just her hat's laying here. Oh, I do, I do have the radio on me. I just saw it in the uh, inventory. Oh, was in my well. It's in my inventory. Or is that a different? Is that something different? Hi. Where's the prompt? 
I didn't get a prompt to do anything. What the fuck was I supposed to do? It didn't give me a prompt to press any buttons or anything. Oh, there's one. It was over on the far right hand side. I was expecting something on the middle button of some kind. Really? Oh, no. shit. No. No. Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Oh, shit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Uh, Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Show, hide show. Conan ain't in the house either. Oh, I don't know what to do. What the hell is going on? <sighs> Whose blood is that? Mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't. Vernon is the guy on the radio. Yes have to find her okay what do you need from us I need help to find her I'll go alone uh, I don't really want to go alone responsibility can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this this is something I have to do alone we're all responsible for Clementine and in your condition you may not make it to her in time she needs our help all of our help damn right we can't let you do this alone so that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? I could turn into a zombie at any moment, too. Lead the way. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. But I keep asking myself, if this was me... Asking you for help? Asking you to put your life on the line? Would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. <laughs> Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it happened. Yeah, I was. Days. And then you went off right. and killed somebody. I'm in. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? <laughs> wow, Omid recovered quickly from his leg wound. Those meds that uh, Vernon gave must have been, a, must have been miracle meds. Yep, they cleaned the place out. It's gonna be empty. They're all gone. So I know all the supplies are missing. Yep. That was obvious. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt.
Well, looks like we got company. And they're heading our way, apparently. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Tony! Is that really Vernon? Vernon, put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! This isn't Vernon. I didn't think so. Vernon's responsible, but I don't think that's who took her. He's he's responsible somehow. We got we're gonna have a next time. Okay, here we go. Kill the boy in the attic. You and seventy seventy three percent of players killed him. So a quarter of the player player base decided to have Kenny do it. I wonder if that's the same group of uh, uh, people who would have made Kenny kill Duck. Well, there's no way to find out. I'm just kind of curious. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 57% of players were rational and honest. Okay, so a little, bit, a little bit more than half, so that's not too bad. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 47% of players brought her. So right about half and half there. Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 54% of players let him go. I am kind of surprised that the uh, the balance is still somewhat 50-50 there. I mean, it's a little more positive or more, a little more toward, you know, letting him go than keeping him. But I figured the way he betrayed the group, you know, twice, essentially, that there's not more people that, would have ready, that were ready to let him go. So that's interesting. Did you reveal your bite to the group? 80% of players showed the bite. That is a huge majority. That is a huge majority. And, and that's actually... That's good to know that players were really to be honest about it. Because, I mean, if you really think about it, what, what, were the, what were the circumstances have been? I mean, we saw what actually happened by revealing the bite. But what would the circumstances have been, you know, in a possible real-life situation in that moment? I mean, you show the bite, everyone knows the whole situation around the bite. Would everyone immediately assume that they're going to kill Lee? Because at this point in the game, you know, looking at it logically... We can't kill Lee yet because he still has one more episode left. And we know he's a critical character. He's the main character we've been following all this time. We know they're going to show the bite and then kill him off before the last episode. Then who are we going to play as? You know, it just wouldn't make sense. So, it's good to see that 80% of players are willing to be honest. And it kind of goes back to, you know, the 20% that's left are those 20% people who went back and played the game again and went the other direction just to see how the storyline would be different. Because if that's the case, are those numbers still applied to this statistic, or is this just for first-time players? You know, I, want, I just kind of something I kind of wonder about. There's no way to really know that, I don't think. All right, let's run through the credits here. Oh, who came with you? Okay. Um. All right, see, so yeah, I see. This is interesting. Uh, so when my group going with me to rescue Clementine is Omid. Kenny and Krista. That's thirteen percent of players. That's not very much. Ten percent is just Ben and uh, and Lee. So I wonder how that happens. Twelve percent is just Lee and Kenny. So I, so can, again, on those two, I kind of wonder. All right, how did Christy, or Krista and Omid? Why are they not coming along? Sixteen percent is five people, which includes Ben. So I would guess that means Ben obviously would have to have survived the fall. 11% is just Krista and Omid, which probably means at that last scene where uh, Kenny doubted us, doubted our, our loyalty and uh, our uh, likeliness of going with him if he had been the one in that situation, we probably would have told him off and he left. 14% would have included Krista and Omid as well as Ben, which means he would have survived, but Kenny wouldn't have come along. 18% would have been just Lee and Kenny, which means obviously Ben probably didn't survive or come along. And obviously somehow I'm still curious as to how Krista and Omid would not have come along because we really helped them out a lot. So I really wonder what would have gone on be between Lee and those two to make them not come with us. And then 6% would have been 6% was Lee all by himself, which means you had to really, really, really fuck up your relationships with all those other people 
to make bet to make legal by himself. So, and that's a really small number too. So that's pretty interesting. Okay. So the majority would have been saving everybody, which means also including, including actually no, the majority is uh, Lee and Kenny alone, which is a rather small percent overall. I mean, all of them are actually pretty small, but the biggest one is only 18%, and that's just Lee and Kenny, which means either you let Ben die or he just decided not to go with you somehow, and same thing with Omid and uh, Krista. So that's, and that's, the, that's the majority. And it's still, it's a, it's a narrow margin. So, okay. Wow. All right. Okay. So the finale is going to be us trying to find uh, Clementine. And so we figured out that that's not Vernon. While that's not Vernon that actually took Clementine... First of all, I want to know how uh, how Clementine got taken. Unless maybe she just woke up, went outside, and that's how she got taken because her hat's gone. I don't think Vernon took her, but I do think he's responsible somehow. He and whoever this guy that, that uh, has been on the radio this whole time, they're working together somehow. Ryan, thank you so much for the like. Thank you for stopping by again and welcome back. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm spitballing here. Obviously I have no clue because I haven't played this yet. I'm thinking Vernon probably is the one that took her and thank you for the share. Thank you for the share, Ryan. I uh, hope I pronounced that right, Ryan. I can't, can't imagine how it's, how the way it would be pronounced. <laughs> um, I imagine that Vernon and this other guy is working together took her somewhere and handed her, handed her off to uh, to this guy. I think, honestly, Ver Vernon had good intentions in mind. I really don't think he's as bad of a guy as he's coming as he's coming off as. I really think that he's he meant to actually he meant for good intentions for uh, uh, Clementine. But somehow gave him, or in, she ended up with the guy that is now that has now taken her. I'm trying. I'm trying to get Vernon the benefit of the doubt. Is my point. I guess we'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the last episode here, but I'm going to take just a short break. I'm just going to run to the restroom real quick. I'm going to come back and I will uh, uh, jump into episode five. Thank you for the follow, uh, Lynn. Thank you very very much. Uh, that puts me at 139 now. Awesome. I'm 11 away from 150, which is my next goal. Great. I can't wait. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Uh, <laughs> the Renegade Love. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much. I said it right. Okay. I didn't think there was any other way I could have said it. I mean, I've never actually known a female with that name, so I was a little, I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, come right back, and then we'll jump into the finale of Walking Dead Season 1. So, give me like two minutes, and I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Thank you all for being patient. Welcome back. Welcome myself back, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying there. <laughs> Thank you all so much for all your follows and likes and shares. I I very much appreciate the support, more than you possibly could know. I do want to apologize for this series being kind of slow and and, and, me, and my struggling through it. You know, nothing's more frustrating to me when I'm playing a game, and I'm pretty sure most people are this way, when you're trying to compl accomplish an objective and you just can't figure out what, what it is, or not what it is, but how to how to accomplish it. Like in, that, in the last episode there, when I just couldn't figure out I need to go find that dead doctor and get the, co the, the uh, passwords and codes and stuff off of him. You know, that's happened two or three times in this series where I'm spending five, ten minutes just wandering around, clicking on every possible thing and not getting the results I'm looking for. And I know that's not compelling to watch. Uh, and I know, you know if I was watching a series like that, I would get bored really quick watching somebody just mosey around lost. So I do apologize for that. I thank you very much for your patience if you've stayed around and continuing to watch while I struggle. <laughs> so, but nonetheless, I still, nonetheless, thank you still so much for all of your support and, and your patience and staying with me and helping me out through all this. And let's get into Season 1, Episode 5. Let's finish off the game. Episode 5, No Time Left. It's annoying when that happens. Yeah, it, it is. And, I, and it's annoying as a player, I'm sure. And I just know that as a, as a viewer watching a live stream, I imagine that probably isn't very fun to watch. It's not very compelling to watch. So I thank you guys. If you do hang around and, and watch me suffer through it, Thank you for your patience and, and hanging around regardless. That is probably the one, probably the, I would say probably the only thing so far that I dislike about streaming compared to the, the five years, the six years of YouTube that I did was that when I come across a moment like that where I'm wandering around lost and I'm just recording a video, I can just cut out that time that I'm lost because that's not compelling to watch and just meet you at the point that I, you know, I'm back to where I was or meet you to the point that I found out where I'm supposed to be going and all that. I can't do that on a live stream, so, you know, thank you all again for being patient and, and watching. I very much appreciate your support and your patience. Let's get into episode five. Previously, oh no! Walking Dead. Oh man! What a bad time for this. I guess I haven't started it yet. Okay, hang on. We're gonna pause you real quick. Okay, good. I didn't get anywhere. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going ahead and call it here. Good thing I didn't actually start this episode yet. One of my favorite streamers is actually on streaming now, so I'm gonna I want to go watch her. So good thing it really happened <laughs> happened between episodes. I'm really get, glad for that. So I didn't have to you know cut off in the middle of an episode again because that would, that was a pain. Uh, thank you all so much. So instead uh, instead of continue on here, um, I will continue the next time I stream. I'm not sure when that will be, um, but next time I stream uh, or next time I stream this, we will get into episode five, the finale of uh, Le well, the Left for Dead. <laughs> the Walking Dead, episode five. Thank you so much for stopping by. I apologize for this sudden change of mind, <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for stopping by. I uh, hope you guys have a good day too. Thank you, Ryan, uh, and I will see you guys next time. I'm Scorth, the Crimson Renegade. Thank you for your support again, and I'll see y'all later.